Hello and welcome to another Fresh Off The Stalls. I'm not drunk, I'm not on public transport, so goodness even knows why I'm even bothering to do one of these. But nonetheless, I shall soldier and march on, and marching is a very, very relevant adjective, or no, verb, verb, <laughs> um, as I have been to see Tony's last tape at the Bridge House Theatre out in Penge. It's uh, a solo show all about Tony Benn. He's dead now, uh, but um, <laughs> not that that should deter you or hold any sway on any opinion of this. So, uh, a bit about me. Um, I'm quite a political person. Uh, I do try to keep politics kind of out of my writing. Um, I'm quite left-leaning as well. And I had the, and I will call it an honour, that's not an exaggeration, the honour to hear Tony Benn speak once at Glastonbury. I would love to have been at, end one of his, uh, uh, been at one of his countless rallies or talks, but Glastonbury is the one and only time I've seen him, and it's stuck with me ever since. He's a marvellous orator. He is a true socialist, not the dangerous socialism that the um, right-wing press moans and, uh, and scaremongers about, but someone who is deeply, pa in, deeply passionate uh, about the rights of people. Um, so uh, you can you can imagine I was all over this when I got the press release. Uh, I was like, yes, yes, yes. So this is uh, the production from the Nottingham Playhouse that has come down to London. Um, and it's a really good show. Um, what do I like about this? Um, well, first of all, I'll start with the performances. Uh, Philip Breverton as Tony Benn. A brilliant uh, performance, um, really, really, I mean, he's, he isn't Tony Benn. I would have loved to have been able to say, like, oh, he's just like Tony Benn, he's, he's marvellous. But it's, it's impossible to be Tony Benn. Uh, mind you, he does get pretty damn close. Um, but what I love is about this, and this is about the play, it's not just about being Tony Benn. Uh, the play itself is much about... Um, much about the winter years of someone, the frailty of humanity, as much as it is trying to um, trying to replicate the uh, the, um, the, the, the catalogue of, of diaries uh, that Tony Benn kept, um, and I think that's why I love the what Philip Breverton has has brought. He's brought that frailty. He's captured that that fighting spirit. Um, at odds with, you know, with age. Um, he is so tenderly dishevelled at points, but then he can just flip the switch and then he's the, the loud, shouting, rallying orator. Uh, and it's it's a wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful performance. And hats off, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and just like Ben, he really, when he does go into his more uh, oratorical, is that even a word? Uh, moments. He has you. He has you by the lapels, but he doesn't, you, you don't get up figuratively. No one got up in the theatre, that would have been rude. Um, you know, you figuratively get up at your seat in, 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 in cheer and agreement, but not because he's, not because he's grabbed you, but, uh, and this is what I found in Tony Benn, he'll initially grab you, but anything, but he will let go and you will never notice it. You will never notice that you're totally with him and that he has stopped, he has stopped Stop trying to convince you and you have convinced yourself. La 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 la. Um, we're getting quite deep now into my uh, thoughts on Ben and my thoughts on Philip Breverton's performance, but um, I love the fact you can almost indistinguish it. As I said, he's, he isn't Ben. I don't think anyone can be Ben other than uh, Tony Ben, but he does a, an amazing performance. However, I, it's to me, it's not the performance that makes this play a really great little play. It's actually the writing uh, by Andy Barrett. Um, what I love is, first of all, there is there is the, um, the little knowing nods to um, Samuel Beckett's Craps last tape, uh, which is another one of my, uh, which is one of my favourite plays actually. Um, and there's kind of it kind of riffs off off that theme. This um, because uh, Tony Benn did keep diaries, um, sort of an old man sort of uh, sort of recording his thoughts and stuff. But here, of course, it's 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 a lot more. Um, it's a lot more cerebral, it's, uh, it's a lot more there and not as sort of uh, ethereal as Crap's last tape. Um, but again, it's just like he really weaves this sort of touching on a man who is so powerful uh, of, with his opinion and a man who has loved and lost, uh, a man that is still a, a person at the end of the day, um, despite everything he's achieved. Uh, and it's wonderful, it kind of slips in and out of that um, 
there's moments where he's just rummaging around his office. Uh, well, well, I say office, the wonderful set by Rachel Jacks, just um, uh, just a desk and a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of his books and a lot of ramshackle about. Um, it's just it. It's a very deep portrait, not just of Tony Benn uh, as a political titan, but of of a human. Um, and it's it's very gallantly tragic, and that is exactly what I said in my tweet. Um, it celebrates. I don't want to say celebrates the demise of people, but it, it kind of does. People people grow old, people grow fail, frail. Um, their ideas don't, um, and their passions don't. And, and I really love that's that, what that, this is what Andy Bartlett. I just dropped the program on the floor. Not Andy Bartlett. What's his name again? Andy Barrett. This is exactly what Andy Barrett um, gets across. My only and only criticism is again with the writing. I think it's just a bit too long. It comes in at 75 minutes of no interval. Um, and as much as the writing is, uh, the, the themes and the, and, uh, and the way it's constructed going in between uh, speeches to, um, to wistful uh, memories, uh, to, to deep and touching uh, sort of almost letters to his his um, deceased wife. Um, as much as that's wonderful, I think it just goes on a bit too long. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, how do you condense Tony Ben into 75 minutes? Uh, and to be honest, even, but it's just kind of like, you sat there and is just one person on the stage, and as much as um, a, a, as Philip Breverton really does hold you, it, it, you do start to feel it towards the end, it's just like, it does drag a little, uh, and that's my only thing. That's the only thing that will I'll probably stop it and uh, giving it me giving it full marks, because you do sort of feel it towards the end. Uh, and I don't think I don't think that <laughs> the chairs at the Bridge House Theatre really help that. Not that I want to. I love the theatre. I just I don't know if they got new chairs in there. I can't remember it being that uncomfortable uh, last time. Um, and it's a bit warm in there at the moment, um, so I don't know if it, I. It could be that I was just a little uncomfortable and therefore I noticed the length more. So I'm not ruling that out, but I think it could just be a little tighter. I think bits of it could have been cut and we wouldn't have noticed and it would still be uh, a really deep uh, and almost heartbreaking uh, little piece of theatre. There's not really much more to say about that. Oh, lighting design. I've, I've, dropped, I've dropped this again. I've got butterfingers tonight. Oh, sit down. Uh, the lighting design by Martin Curtis. Um, I really liked it. It doesn't really do much, but with some wonderful little s subtle touches. And I'm not, uh, I love the one bit when um, the light, the the the, uh, the light above uh, in Tony's office goes. And I don't know if it is just me. I don't know if it's actually happened or if I just imagined it. But there's a wonderful, almost sort of gl uh, slow grow of what I can only assume was. Um, was sunlight coming in through the morning? I don't know. It's just, but even then, even if that if there wasn't a grow, and I'm just going completely, uh, completely mad in, um, well, just I'm going completely mad. Um, it was still really nicely lit, even though it's kind of darkness. It's a sort of uh, a, a bit of up lighting from a, you know, a sort of bit of lighting uh, from a certain place. It was still very atmospheric, and even when the light was on, it just it just felt warm. The lighting really captured the warmth of the piece and the warmth of Tony Benn as a person. Um, which, so uh, even, yeah, it's some like, wonderful little lighting. I always like to try and ma mention lighting uh, in anything I do, and I don't always, because I'm not exactly an expert and sometimes I don't know what on earth I'm talking about. But um, in general, not just about lighting, but mostly about lighting. Um, but I do like to, to mention it. Um, directorially, um, this is not going to have difficulty saying anything about it because um, I just think that Philip Breverton really commands the piece, so I, 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 I'll, probably, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it a bit more, and I'll no doubt have a few more notes on, uh, on, on, on direction in my full written review. Um, but yes, uh, it, it's, it's a wonderful little play. Uh, oh yes, another thing about the writing, I think you, you are a little alienated from it if you're not too into politics, and especially um, uh, Labour politics, uh, and especially the influence of Tony Benn in, uh, in politics. Um, there is a lot of minutia uh, of, of references uh, of, of people in there, and I think you uh, you do if you if you don't know who he's talking about, you do get a little you do fall a little behind, and I suppose you do disconnect in it. Um, however, 
I think what this play does, and uh, what Tony Benn has always done, is still say more things of importance and relevance than, uh, than, um, than a lot of uh, our politicians produce every morning in a porcelain bowl. Um, so, I mean, if you can push past uh, the fact that, like, you don't know who half the people Tony Benn's referring to in this play, uh, I think it's bang on the money, as Tony Benn always was, uh, on uh, the state of politics. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I've witted on for ten minutes. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was going to make a joke. I was going to say that it was dragged, the play dragged a little, it over laboured its point. Ha ha, I am witty. Please, please believe me that I'm a witty. Um, but yes. A marvellous little play. Thank you very much to the uh, Bridge House Theatre for hosting this. Thank you even more so to Nottingham Playhouse for originally producing this. And even more, more so for Andy Barrett for writing this. And even more, 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 more so for Tony Benn for just being Tony Benn. Uh, and as much as he inspires things through his own writings, has managed to inspire this wonderful homage to him. So I should leave it there. So I'm going to get drunk and start feeling myself on public transport. It seems what I do for fun these days. So I shall see you next time for another Fresh Off the Stalls. Goodbye.